Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create accordion pleats on the garment. Accordion pleats is one of my favorite function to use in Clo when I first started learning. I remembered it used to take me a long time to illustrate accordion pleats. But in Clo, you can easily change a flat surface into a 3D texture with few clicks. First, let me create a dress. If you are not familiar with the basic tools yet, please click the link at the end of this video to watch my previous clip. Okay, now I have the dress ready. Let's put the accordion pleats on the skirt. To use this function. First thing to do is to add internal lines within the pattern piece. Go to 2D window and find internal polygon, shortcut G. Click to start and double click to end the line. You can create individual internal lines anywhere inside the pattern. Then find pleat fold from the toolbar. To use this function, you need to click once to start a point, and then create a line across all the internal lines you wanted to pleat. And double click to bring out the pleat fold window. In the window, you have three pleat options. We are going to select accordion pleat and click OK. You will see internal lines will change to red and blue color. Red color is outside fold and the blue color is inside fold. Click simulate in 3D window or just hit the space key on the your keyboard. And the accordion pleats is done. It's pretty simple right? However, the pleats don't look very nice and they are uneven. I prefer to create even pleats, and this is how you can do that. First, use edit pattern tool. Hold shift to select the two lines. In this case, I want to create pleat lines between two front skirt side seams, so I would select left and right side seams. Then right click to choose distribute internal line between segment. In the pop-up window. Number of offsets. You can click up and down arrow or just type in the number of the internal lines you want to create. More internal lines will make the pleat smaller. Once you decide on the offsets numbers, click OK. And you will see all the internal lines you just created will be highlighted as yellow. Before you click on anything in 2D window, go to Property Editor window first. You will see Fold. Under Fold, click on Fold Rendering. This will show a better detailed pleats look in the 3D window and also for rendering later. So don't forget to turn it on when you are making pleats. Select Pleat Fold from the toolbar. Click to start and draw a line across all the internal lines and double-click to bring a the Pleat Fold window. 
select accordion pleats. Then click OK. Repeat the same process for the back skirt panels. If your pattern is symmetrical, when you generate internal lines on one side of the pattern, it will mirror duplicate on the other side as well. If you are not familiar with symmetrical pattern, please go watch my last video of how to create ruffles, in that video I showed you the way to duplicate symmetrical pattern. Okay, now I have all the internal lines created for front and back skirt panels. Click simulate in 3D, and there you go. I created a dress with accordion pleats. Let me put it on the sleeves as well. Remember to lower particle distance for your final simulation to get a better result and realistic appearance. I hope this video helped you to create more fun designs with accordion pleats. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave your comments to help me improve my channel. And, don't forget to click like and subscribe.